to transform? No, oh. he's not. Wufu, you might have a fever. Huh? What's a fever? Mm. I will explain why your body feels hot, cold, and tired. Let knowledge click. A fever means your body gets hotter than normal. Can't you believe it? A fever is essentially how your body protects you yes. when strength bacteria huh? Fungi or viruses try to get in. When bad bacteria get in, your immune cells turn on defense mode and send signal to your brain. Inside your brain is a control center called the hypothalamus. When it gets the signal, the hypothalamus tells your body to heat up. The high temperature makes germs weaker or kills them, like cooking bacteria. You can feel cold at the same time, because your body needs to balance it out. While you have a fever, your immune cells work hard to find the germs. When the germs are gone, the hypothalamus tells your body to cool down, and you start feeling better. A fever isn't a sickness. It's a sign of your body protecting itself. Can you tell me what you should do when Wufu has a fever? That's wrong. You should never get the medicines without asking an adult. That's right. Tell an adult right away so he can get the right care. We got it. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Here you are, Wufu. Jeez, uh, I thought you were a real moving skeleton. Uh. <laughs> Did you know oh. why we have bones in our bodies? Let knowledge clear. Imagine a body like a house. It needs a strong frame to stand upright. Just like that. We have bones because they act as the frame that supports our whole body. Thanks to our bones, we can stand up straight, run, jump, grab things, or dance around. With our bones to support us, our bodies would just be a pile of skin and hair that couldn't stand up at all. Bones also help protect important parts inside our body, like the heart, brain, and lungs. Babies are born with around 300 soft bones that haven't joined together yet. As you grow, these bones slowly join together and get stronger, forming a total of 206 bones. Kids' bones can grow longer over time. That's how you get taller. I'll grow huh? tall like daddy, right, professor? Bones grow over time, but you oh. need to take care of them if you want them to be strong and healthy. <laughs> to help your bones grow strong, oh. you should drink milk every day. It's full of calcium, which means healthy bones. <laughs> you can also eat foods like cheese, spinach, and kiwi. They're all great for your bones. Mm, I'll drink lots of milk so I can grow even taller than Daddy. That's all <laughs> for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh. Wolfu, mm. too much candy oh. isn't good for you. Why is that? Do you want to know why? Let knowledge click. The candy you eat has a lot of sugar in it. 
Sugar gives your body energy to play and have fun. A little bit of sugar is good for energy, but too much can cause something called a sugar rush. That's when your body gains too much energy from sweets, making you run around like crazy. But after a while, your energy drops suddenly and you'll feel tired and unable to focus. It can also make your heart beat faster, leaving you feeling uncomfortable. Oh no! I don't want to be that tired. Too much sugar can hurt your teeth and mouth health too. Sugar is also the wow. perfect food for harmful bacteria in your mouth. After huh. eating sugar, the bacteria <laughs> make acid as waste. <laughs> Besides harming your teeth, eating too much sugar can also make your tummy feel really bad. How, Professor Hoot? <laughs> oh. Eating too much sugar can also upset the bacteria in your stomach, giving you a tummy ache. So what should I do to enjoy candy without harming my body? Eat only a small amount of candy each day. Rinse your mouth or brush your teeth after eating to protect your teeth. And lastly, Eat balanced, healthy food to keep your body strong. Hmm. Hey friends, remember not to eat too much candy and brush your teeth after. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> Ow. Hello. Oh. Hmm. Aha. Oh. I'm a superhero. <gasps> Did you use a cloning machine? Ha <laughs> ha, woofoo! Oh. They are twins! Hmm, twins? I'll explain to hmm. you. Let knowledge play! <laughs> Normally, when a mommy's egg meets a little friend called a sperm from daddy's body, they join together to start making a baby! Mommy has eggs like a chicken? Oh. Mommy's egg stays inside her body. You can see them. But there are two special cases. One is when there's just one egg and one sperm. But then the embryo splits into two. Each half will grow into two babies, who are exactly the same, with the same gender and faces and bodies that look very alike. This is called identical twins. Ooh, I wish I had a twin brother too. Hmm. The second case is when the mummy's body has two eggs and each egg meets a different sperm. Each egg grows into its own embryo, so the two babies are just like regular brothers or sister, only born at the same time. They can be different genders, and their faces don't have to look alike. This is called fraternal twins. Ooh, I got it now. Okay, I have a question. Are Lily and Liam identical twins or fraternal twins? Ah, mm. oh, Lily is a girl and Liam is a boy. They must be fraternal twins. That's right. Very smart! you are just discover the secret of twins! <laughs> That's all for now! Stay tuned for mm. our next exploration! Mm. Ow! And then... <gasps> the ghost jumped out! Woo! <sighs> oh! Hmm? There are little bumps on your skin! Oh. <laughs> you look like a plucked goose. Ooh. Uh, That's called goosebumps. Oh. I'll explain it to you. Let knowledge click. Like Woofoo oh. said, 
Goose bums are named after the goose skin, which has tiny bums where the feather were plugged. Goose bums are the natural reaction of our body when we feel cold, scared, or very excited. Under our skin are hair follicles with little muscles at the bottom called the erector pili. When the muscles tighten, they pull the hairs up and make small bumps, just like a goose skin. A long time ago, our ancestors had a lot more hair on their bodies. When we get cold, the brain sends out a chemical called adrenaline. It makes the erectile muscle tighten and lift the hairs. The raised hair trap air close to the skin and keep the body warm by stopping heat from going out. <laughs> when we are scared or very emotional, the same thing happens. Our body thinks we need to react. The raised hair make people look bigger and scarier to chase away danger. It's like when a cat pops up its fur, right, Doctor Who? <laughs> That's right. Now we have oh. tiny hairs, so goosebumps don't keep us warm or scare others. But it's still a fun and interesting part of our body. <laughs> Here's a question for you: Why do we get goosebumps? A. To turn into a real goose. B. To keep warm and for self-defense. C. Because it feels like ants crawling on your skin. The correct answer is B. It's a natural reaction of the body to keep us warm and to scare away enemies. You got it right. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>